Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install presets into On One Photo Raw 2018. For this demonstration, I'll be installing the preset package that I sell. There'll be a link for it in the description below this video. But what I'm going to show you will work with any preset package from anyone. So it doesn't matter where you get your On One presets from. What I'm going to show you will work. And I will show you two different ways to install presets. The first way, I believe, is the easiest way. Now, when you download presets from anyone, they'll most likely be zipped or compressed. You're going to have to unzip them or decompress them first. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video that demonstrates how to unzip zipped files. And there'll be a link below this video for that video. So you could watch that to learn how to unzip your file. Now, once you have your file unzipped, you're going to find it's actually a folder that contains all the presets. You're going to have to know where the location is of that folder. In my case, I have it on my desktop. It's right here. Now, for this first method, open up that folder. You don't have to have on one open at all. Just open up the folder and click on any of the presets that are inside of the folder. In the case of my presets, there are 40 of them. So just click on one and then select them all. The easiest way to select them all is if you have a Mac, hit Command A as in all. If you have a PC, hit Control A as in all, and you'll select all of them. Next, just right click on any of them. They'll stay selected. Then go down to Open With. Then you want to open them with On One Photo Raw 2018. So we're going to click that. Now what you'll find is that On One will automatically open and you'll get this dialog, select category for the imported presets. Now you could install these presets into an existing category or create your own. I'm going to create my own category, so I'm going to add new category, and I'm going to call this Anthony M's On One Effects Presets, and I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click OK one more time because it's going to install them now into that category. Now once you do that, it's going to warn you, you have X number of presets. In this case, there are 40 of them. So just click OK, and it will install those 40 presets. Then if you grab an image, let's grab this one, I guess, and we'll go over to either the, defect, the Develop or the Effects panel. I'll go to the Effects panel because mine are Effects presets. And you'll see right at the top, because I named it Anthony M's on one Effects presets, it's right at the top. They're, they're, are all the presets. I'll just open that up and you can see that there's all 40 of the presets. So that is one way that you could install presets. If that doesn't work for you, the other way you could do it is you still have to know where that folder is on your computer. Then go up to settings, then down to import preset. Then if you have a Mac, the finder window will open up. If you have a PC, um, Windows, uh, Windows Explorer will open up and then you'll be able to navigate to where the folder is on your computer. That's Windows File Explorer, I should clarify. So I know it's on the desktop, so I'm going to go to the desktop. There's the folder there. So you're going to have to open it. Now you still have to select them all and this is where it depends on your operating system, I believe where you might not be able to select them all with Command or Control A. For example, I'll click on one and I'll hit Command A because I have a, have a Mac. If I had a PC, I'd hit Control A. And I don't know if you could hear it, my computer is beeping when I do that. It won't let me select them all. There is another way to select all. Hold in the Command key if you have a Mac, the Control key if you have a PC, and then keep that key clicked in and then select or by clicking on all 40 of them. So this is a little tedious this way. That's why I like the other way better. And once you have them all selected, let's just for the sake of argument say that I do. I have them all selected. Click open. Now it's going to be the same as the previous method. It's going to ask you what category to put them in. You could add a new category and then you could give it a name and then you would click OK twice and you're all set. So that's the second way how you install presets, and that's really it for this video. Now, for those of you that are interested in my presets, 
I will now just go through all 40 presets and I probably I won't even talk. So those of you that aren't interested in my presets, you could leave now. And those of you that are interested, you could stay and look at what these look like. I should say though that my presets are effects presets. They are meant to be done after you do some develop processing to your raw file. So process your raw file as you normally would, then go into the effects module and then apply these presets. The reason why I don't have any develop steps in my presets is two, two reasons. The first reason is um, a lot of times if you put that type of processing on top of a JPEG, it makes the JPEG over-processed. So my presets work best with JPEGs and RAW files. The other reason I didn't add any develop settings into my presets is that most of us like to develop the images in our own way. So you could develop your image in your own style, then use an effects preset, my effects presets, to just give it a little flair or a little different taste or a little different feeling or something like that. So it won't overwrite your develop settings. So without further ado, I'll just click through all 40 and let them come up on the screen here to the right. And you could take a look at them and I'll just say the name of the preset. This one's called A Touch of Glow. This one's called Almost HDR. This one's called Black and White A Touch of Glow. This one's called Black and White Boredom. This one's called Black and White Drama in the Sky. This one's called Black and White HDR Look. This one's called Black and White Hint of Tone. This is called Black and White Pushed T-Max. This one's called Tony's Black and White. This one's called Bleached Beach. This one's called Center Pop. This one's called Chrome. This one's called Clear and Crisp. This one's called Cool Grunge. This one's called Dusky Day. This one's called Fall Fun Day. This one's called Foliage Pop. This one's called Found Film. This one's called Getting Cooler. This one's called Getting Warmer. This one's called Gherkin. This one's called High Key. This one's called Lost in Instagram. This one's called Lost in the Wash. This one's called Low Key. This one's called Sister Surreal. This one's called Sky and Land. This one's called Spring Has Sprung. This is called Stormy Waterfront. This one's called Summer Sunset. This one's called Sunset Sky. This one's called... I don't know what that one's called. That one's called The Shack something. I forgot what I called that one. This one's called Tobacco Sunset. This one's called Tony's Landscape Tweak. This one's called Too Cool for School. This one's called Warm Grunge. This one's called Warmer Than Warm. This one's called Washed Out High Detail. This one's called Wedding Whiteout. And this one's called Winter. And that is all 40 of them. And as those of you that are familiar with presets, some presets will look great on one scene, but then on a totally different image, it looks horrible on that scene. So that's why there's so many. There's 40 of them. So you could really fine-tune the preset to your exact image. Um, for this particular one, there's a few of these that I like. I think Tony's Landscape Tweak is probably my favorite. It's just a lighter preset, not super heavy on anything. That's the one I kind of like, but your results may vary and you may prefer a different preset. So that's it for this video. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.